Still the best intro ever. Gets me hyped every time. Gets me chubbed. <laughs> and that's what we're here for. Welcome to the first ever edition of this podcast. Not to be confused with a film being made where they're auditioning dolphins. Because that would be a podcast, a podcast as well. <laughs> <laughs> I regret this decision immediately. Yep. Uh, but yes, so I, I wanted to start this uh, illustrious podcast that I'm calling the Bollywood Bootlickers Podcast. I like it. But do not be confused. We are not only talking about Bollywood. Yep. That's just for the name because it's a catchy, fun name. And you can say it's the BBP. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. The yeah. BBP. The BBP. The BBP. Welcome to the BBP. Uh, no, different than the PPP. It's true. Or a baby PP. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I wanted to start this uh, because a lot of people have requested us to kind of just... Talk about talk about crap, different things. So uh, we're gonna have a lot of just random conversations, fun little games. We're gonna talk about the latest news in all the industries. Yes, uh, that you know stuff we talk about in minute detail in like some intros or stuff like that. that and might and see. above all, and most important for all of you probably is the proper care of and sustainability and health care of the taint. Yes, that. Uh, but I need to say for legal reasons. Uh, uh, talk to your doctor. Thank you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's the disclaimer. Um, but yeah, so I want to. So if you have any ideas for uh, different things we could talk yeah, about, yeah, what do you want us to talk segments, about? All this kind of stuff, you can let us know in the comments. More, more fodder for you to hate us. Yes. <laughs> but also, fodder is a good word. Uh, in the future, this is kind of a, a test run. This first episode is going to be, but I want to have. A testicle? Uh, yes, Great. I want to have more. Uh, maybe some guests, uh, particularly Indians or people in the industry, or someone with the last name guest. So. Like if or if there's people that we've talked to in the past that are our dose that um, maybe we didn't need to have another interview, but we could have them on a podcast, have an informal conversation with about different things. Yes. Beer Daz, Cooper Saint, uh, Mohini Day, Mohini Day, or anyone who happens to be here. Yes. In L.A. at the time. Yes. Priyanka, I think. Rithik, Alia, any of you. Some of those might need to exclusive. Anurag would do it. Yes, he would absolutely he do it. He absolutely would do uh, it. But I don't, <laughs> he'd have to come all the way over to Winnetka, California. Some call it. The Vegas of the Valley. It's true, because what happens in Winnetka <laughs> stays in Winnetka. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to talk about different stupid stuff. But I'd like to have, like, if there's people, or if there's just stupid babies sometimes. Like, if, like, they could, if they're fans of the Tamil industry, Telugu industry, if yep. they speak it, we could talk to them about it. They could inform us. We yep. could just talk about idiotic things. Yep. Uh, maybe we can have some guests on Call-ins. that have never seen an Indian film before. Yeah. And we could just talk to them about that and then other stuff as well. We should get an 888 number. It's going to be very informal. Yep. Um, just something to talk a little more. Maybe we could do these weekly. I don't know. You guys can let us know what you want. Like I said, this is more of a trial run. Maybe I'll cut some, because I also want to cut some of these little clips up. Right. Little funny things. Maybe put them on tickety talks, which I know only if you're in America. Well, for now. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> that you have. Might have maybe, to be an Instagram reel. Maybe I'll put them on YouTube shorts. I don't know. But uh, the first thing. Hey, I do actually, we have an OSR Instagram? We don't, do we? We just have our personal Instagrams. No, personal Instagrams, the, the fan page. But no, the, we don't have a OSR. Yeah. If anybody needs a contact. Us just, just contact me, yeah. Contact Rick. But the first thing I actually wanted to talk to you about on this illustrious uh, Bollywood Bootlickers podcast, yes, is actually something that is Bollywood. Maybe you've heard it. I hope not. They've announced something for War Two. I know what it is. Side of the director. I know what it is. Ah! It's very I exciting. saw it today because I follow him on yeah, 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 Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I assumed you'd saw it. Yes, but uh, the news came out obviously that a illustrious uh, superstar. Actor from the Telugu industry. From an Oscar-winning Telugu film. Yes. Is joining War 2. A Golden Globe winning In some fashion. Telugu film. I hope it's more of the villain role. I, Me too. I think that would Please. be great. Uh, but Junior NTR has joined War 2. Yes. War 2. If you haven't seen our uh, review of War, please go watch that. Uh, we enjoyed the action of War. A lot. We thought it was a fun mindless action film. And the trailer was the menu that served up what we were expecting. Yes, exactly. But I think if you add an actor, uh, which I believe would be a step up from, like, if you had Tiger, obviously, even though Tiger's great, but you're stepping up a notch in terms of acting performance yeah. in Junior and TR. Yeah. Uh, but I don't expect an Oscar film at all from, no. from War Two. That's not what I'm expecting. No, and I'm not expecting RRR. But the thing I'm really excited about is if we get a dance-off between Rithik Roshan and Junior and TR. Come on. Orgasming in the street yep. will happen. Uh, what the? Dad, Randy. Oh, uh, 
that was a that was a ghost. The ectoplasm. It's true. <laughs> it will. It, it, like that would be incredible. That's a good orgasm. Did you see Cooper's thing about hug gasms? She posted about hug gasms no, and she said what would be a good orgasm. I said walk gasms. That would be just entertaining to watch people having orgasms just because they're walking. Well, people have walking farts, so. Well, I I have sitting farts. <laughs> <laughs> Old grandma. <laughs> Anyways, but no, my, obviously we saw Rithik and Tiger dance in War One. Yeah, we knew that was going to be great. amazing. Oh, but especially one, if it was a dance off. It, it, the big Pan India thing going on now. Yeah, bring oh. on, bring on a man like Rithik, and then bring on somebody in Junior and TR. You're going to get a legit because I think the term Pan India gets thrown out. Way All the time. Much. It's just okay. Yeah, like, oh, we're making a pan. Sure right, you are. Sure you are. <laughs> I agree. And and for clarification, and this is an important clarification, it wasn't his Instagram where I saw it. What did you say? Variety, and that's an important designation because it shows you how consistently the trades here are talking about Indian cinema and stars. I every day there's a new story in Variety. That is a main article story about something going on, whether it was the deal that Amazon just made with India, whether it was Priyanka's d debut of Citadel, this story, uh, Salman Khan's new film. Every day there's something being talked about in the trades and variety, which yeah. is the place everyone in the industry goes to here in Hollywood to find out what's going on. Yeah. Um, but I think that's going to be so – it's it's obviously huge news, obviously, right now that he, he's joined on. Um, and obviously, it's the director of Brahmastra. Yeah. And and he also announced, obviously, the Brahmastra 2 and 3. Right. Um, big news as well. Those coming out, what, in 10 years or something? Yeah. <laughs> three, four years. No, three something. or four years, which makes sense when you consider the stars and their schedules. So, you know, let's, but let's luckily, tack that on the calendar. they're filming it at the same time. Yeah. As, uh, as you should, if you know you're going to do that. If you know you're making three films, might might as well always it's make easier them for everybody at one time. Yep. One, you don't have long waits in between nope. to lose hype. No. I mean, I guess <laughs> it didn't affect Avatar at all. <laughs> not, <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, and it, and it gives it gives all of your post production people so much time on the third installment to. <laughs> Give but you twice as much time. But you really hope the next Avatar is not going to take ten years. It shouldn't. Right. It's not going to. No, I suspect the next Avatar is going to come out Christmas of 2024. It's got, it's got to take them a minimum of two years to yeah, just VFX it. Yeah, but they, and they've been working they've been working on all of them at the same time. So it Have would they? not yeah it would not surprise me if they're going to be spaced out every two to three years. So, but yeah, this is a big it's a big, a big deal. And because this kind of thing, I won't think would have been as readily accepted by producers, investors, and studio heads and audiences five six years ago. But because RRR was such a huge success, there's come, thankfully, and OTT has done this too, there's coming this more broader understanding and appreciation for the fact that Indian cinema is Indian cinema and that each of the India industries has their own fingerprint, yet they are all India. And so you should have these, for lack of a better term, crossover stars working yeah. together from the different industries more often and more commercially. And I love that NTR is is, is doing that. <clears throat> is there a slightly off topic, not really, but um, in Citadel, are there other Indian actors? I don't know. I haven't looked at the cast. Hmm. Let's take a look. You said she's going to be in India though, right? Her character story, my understanding is that and it wouldn't surprise me if Tucci's character is Italy because Tucci is from Italy and he speaks fluent Italian. So my suspicion is the Italy spot is going to be Tucci's backstory and that India is going to be Priyanka's backstory. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Um, I'm hoping she brings in I would her hope. friends. Oh, I would hope so. Um, uh, and same for Italy. I would really hope that they bring in some folks that are really well known in Italy. Um, to bring like they've done to they've, they've done that with the. Um, they did that with White Lotus, and it'll be interesting to see what they do with season three in Thailand, because they did that with Italy and Hawaii. Not not a huge amount of it. I'm looking at the cast for Citadel right now. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if they'll announce it, though. They might keep things very hush-hush. But I hope, my hope is that she, while filming in India, if they mm -hmm. have something in India like that, that she casted actors in India, she would understand that more than 
others. Absolutely. And not be like, I know it's a Holly production. We're going to hire Indian actors out of Hollywood. No. Go to India. Yeah. Hire the actors there. I mean, they might, if it's a SAG thing, which it probably is. Yes. They might run into issues, but there's ways around that. Yeah. None of the good. Th there's the easiest way around. There's a, there's a, the, the, World Rule One. I don't know if that's exact, but it's that's the rule that that allows you to work with people as long as they don't predominantly work in SAG um, franchised kinds of productions. Yeah. It gives permission. Uh, you, you have to have that with it's it's Rule One. It's a really simple thing that production just has to submit to Screen Actors Guild and says, "Hey, we intend on doing that." And they may have to do some disclaimers to that because for the most part, what you have to do though is you have to prove to SAG that you're not going to be marketing the film in SAG industries, which this this bad boy's going, but I promise you, it's the Russo brothers. They're on top of it. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, I, I, it's just something bringing up, obviously, the fact that, you know, pan India. Yeah. Hopefully there's a pan world style stuff yeah. coming. Um, so I didn't see anything in the cast, and I'm looking at the, the rest of the creative team. Uh, lots of exec producers and consulting producers, but there aren't any names that I necessarily recognize off the top of my head other than, and that's episode one. Let me see who's in the cast. That's all for episode one. I think that's the only cast listing they have right now. Hmm. Let me look at the episodes. I don't know. Uh, I just, episodes. I just, I, I would hope, man, I don't know oh, anything about it. I don't know if I want to look. <clears throat> They've got the they've got the first seven episodes here, but I don't know that I want to see who's in it until we actually. Do I dare jump in? No, don't do it. All right. Um, I was just well, curious, yeah. you know, because I think you know she, like I said, knows better than anyone. There's talent in India that needs to be exposed to the sure world. Sure does, and so I think I would hope she would if there's a role that, obviously, you don't just want to have whomever, right, uh, even if it's Farhan or somebody like that, come on for a little <laughs> roll or something yeah. like that. But even still, I, I would like him to. So. The, it, there's a lot riding on Citadel because <clears throat> Citadel is a 200 million plus. It's Amazon, right? Yeah. Amazon did it. I mean, it, they've, they've put as much money into that as they've, they have the Lord of the Rings. They put so, a billion into Lord of the Rings. Well, now they're going into season two. But I mean, when it first started, it mm. was com it's a comparable budget. I never finished that. Yeah. Did you? No. Yeah, it 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 lost me. Yeah, which is which was sad. Yeah, uh, maybe season two will be. Yeah, good. for for as uh, I I also got got lost with dragons, but yep. I didn't get lost as much at all with, as I did with. Uh, we differ on that opinion. Yeah, uh, I loved House of Dragons. Uh, uh, you like watching people just stare at each other. Yeah, if they're hot. <laughs> Speaking of hot people, this is another thing I want to bring people. Uh, so just like uh, obviously that cultural thing that happened, a lot of people calling it the in Met, Mumbai. Yeah, the Met Gala. Of, Got it. Of, um, of of India, right? Yeah. Uh, some people were calling it that, and so people wanted us to go over some of their looks. That that cool. Indian, we, and we do this at the Oscars. Obviously, people come on red with carpets, beautiful. Yep, beautiful or not, or so, not beautiful so beautiful <laughs> looks. Um, uh, in so some people want us to because I haven't really seen outside of uh, some so, pictures that somebody posted on. So would this be because there's a big difference between Instagram. saying the Met Gala and the Oscars? Met Gala is going to be a cornucopia of artistic expression. Might be a little bit. All bets are off. Might be a little bit of both. Oscars I, is far more refined. My bet is stylistically it's, um, more in, in between, but also more celebrating of Indian culture. Okay. Then, and not necessarily so because the Met Gala is. But a granted, fashion show. What, I don't know what the hell Alia was wearing. <laughs> Didn't Gaga wear a meat suit to the Met Gala? That was that, or is it Gala or Gala? Yeah, it's Gula. Oh, Gula. <laughs> I believe there's a soft J the in there. Met Gulag. Oh, sorry, that's where they train uh, players for the New York Mets. But anyway, so uh, it's just a site that had celebrity looks. So this looks like Varun and um, freshly waxed. Um. That is Varun, right? I thought so. Yeah, is it not? And, but I'm not who she It's a small... It's not thumbnail, but... Um, I, I, don't, I apologize for... It's not, it doesn't tell me. There's Karen There's Johar Karen and... Johar. Um, That's a lovely combo. I don't know who that is. Interesting purse to go with that. I don't know why my screen's doing... I don't either. ...that weird thing. Yeah, it, see, a lot of the textiles on it are very Indian. Like... Oh yeah, bold and beautiful, and mm -hmm. uh, you'd see a lot more of what's on Kiran Johar more on a sari, like a really expensive, beautiful yeah. sari. And she looks, yeah, <laughs> you wearing like a 
She's got like wings. A, uh, a feather cape yeah. or something like that. That is. I like it. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I don't like her purse. Yeah, the, the, purse, the purse is an it's odd. It's throwing me off. It's a little, the purse <clears throat> is an interesting, but it's a little bit odd. Yeah, strange. Uh, a very simple look there. Who is that? I know him. Yeah, that's, um, that's um, um, um. Is that Varun? Tug on it. I apologize. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, he's just wearing a suit and a shirt. Sorry. He looks nice. I apologize. Ah. Oh. Oh. Is that her daughter? I I don't know because I've I don't know that I've ever She's seen her daughter. She's gorgeous. The bang is Shashwarya bangs going on there. Sure enough. She definitely has the the cheekbones of a Shashwarya. Shashwarya looks regal right here. Yeah. She looks like she could be a queen a in like a, a PS2 or something. Yeah. That's a that's really beautiful. A very beautiful and elegant look right there. I don't know who that is. I don't either. <laughs> Whoa. I love That looks like your mom. Exactly. <laughs> that is my mom's hair right there. I apologize for not knowing who the, it doesn't have a like There's who's no under names it. on the I bottom. apologize. So. But his mom has hair similar to that. She doesn't go full hot pink, but she has a ton of pink highlights in that hair. Yeah. Tons. She changes it all the time yeah. though. Uh I'm not sure who these other people are. Oh. Oh. That was Penelope Cruz, is who that was. Is it? Yeah. Why isn't she wearing any Indian stuff? Oh, because she's there. We go. Because she's not Indian. Look at that. Oh, Priyanka looks. That's gorgeous. And this I is. I love the see see through legs. Um, and God, I guess capes was the 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 theme of the night. Maybe apparently. Uh, because yeah, there was something about that's the yeah, second like third a, one we've seen like that. But she was wearing a different outfit when she was getting out of the tuk tuk. Yes, I don't. That's why I don't remember the see through leg. Thing. Priyanka having multiple looks, unheard of. Crazy. <laughs> she looks great though. I, I like it a lot. Um, Nick and Nick is he wearing something? very simple, just okay. all black. And by the way, I've heard her talk about this. She's been shamed for the way she looks. What? Yo, uh, for what? Just, my wife can tell you. We point this out all the time. Curvy women are the most beautiful, wonderful. Your your curves look voluptuously wonderful Priyanka don't let anybody lie to you and I'm sure your husband's your number one fan so <laughs> Nick's also like I love her voluptuous curves yeah I love those guys yeah. I just I'm root for them hey, hey two people that's I love. a handsome looking couple even more this is very it's almost like a, it seems like they're like a almost a hers is a little more subtle but like his like wedding outfit for for Runveer that's pretty damn tame it is right Looking dapper. Oh, Look at the white boots. She's wearing a pantsuit with a cape. Is What's she? the theme oh, capes? Oh, there may have been a cape theme, but that's that's looking pretty, both of you looking but pretty also, darn beautiful. If the theme was capes, why isn't Ranveer wearing a cape? It was just for the ladies to be caped. Why? Are you cape? I promise you. Are you, you cape shaming no. my dudes? If my wife was wearing a cape at a red carpet event. I would also wear a cape. I would not be wearing a cape unless she said, I want us to be duoed with the cape look. I would let her I do, don the cape. I do love the pantsuit here. I do too. Of, uh, I mean. That's very cool. It's, you'd be hard pressed to find something Topeka doesn't look amazing in. Yeah. Uh, she's a gorgeous woman. That's and very nice. Everything looks so elegant. Yeah, that's. Definitely on the elegant side, right? Uh is that got, safe? We got yeah. safe and his sister. Trina. No, sorry, not his. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that clip it. It's going on the internet. <laughs> I don't know why my brain oh. told me. Yeah, she's his sister. Oh, yeah. If she's a sister, they're doing something very illegal. <laughs> Keeping his sister safe. <laughs> you know what I mean? They look gorgeous and regal. Again, yeah. You think they have any Very royal uh, in their sibling blood? There may be somebody's <laughs> sister. <laughs> There's royal in her, am I right? Hey! Because hey! he's, he's got royal blood. Yeah, they, and anyway. Very regal as well. Similar yeah. to Topeka and, um, and uh, Renvier there. I like the pocket handkerchief he's got going there. Um, oh, that's great. I love brown freaking shoes. Freaking safe's looking great with those shoes. Yeah. Oh, he's wearing the uh, very nice. He's wearing what I what I call the politician suit I want to see of, a, of India. Do we have a shot of her facing forward so we can see the full no. thing from the front? No. Oh, that's just, a shame. Yeah. It's just from the side because her midriff it looks like it's really pretty. Your midriff is pretty. That's, that's true. That's incorrect, actually. I've seen it. Where's Reka? Who is this? Who is this? I don't know. I want all I uh, want to see. Read this. Reka. They walked in with. 
Charisma Kapoor, who was in a brown sari paired with sheer black. That's a gorgeous sari. That's very pretty. Wow. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Who is this? Alia. Va- Vidya. And Vidya. Vidya. And yeah. uh, uh, so she's wearing something different. Yep. Who? There's no capage. No, that's a cape. I don't know. Or is it a sari? I think I, I think that's just part of a dress, a gown. Everything's very it embroidered. The, and there's a see-through trend as well for a lot of it. See, both of them have see-through in the arms. Hashtag free the nipple. Am yep. I right? Absolutely. Uh, not them, just see-through things in general. Uh, you can see nipples. Uh, okay, so did uh, was Silver Sari by Vishali I S? I love the texture on the sari. So it is a sari. Beautiful that's all earrings. Yeah. It's very regal. Very lovely. So, yeah. Everybody's looking so my, classy. My assumption is that they wanted to highlight. Oh, this was great. Salman took a picture of Shah Rukh Khan's children, I believe. Oh, fun fact. Uh, that Ki- <laughs> It's our stupidity, right? That, oh, no. Kier- that Kieran, what did we do? That Kieran Johar, uh, when he was showing around his house yeah. and talking about the designer. Yeah. And we were like, and she was like, I love designing for Kieran Johar. Uh, and I was like, she also loves his money. Right? Right. <laughs> what happened? That was Shah Rukh Khan's wife. <laughs> she doesn't need the money. She doesn't need it. <laughs> so... <laughs> SRK is the designer. Uh, his, SRK's it's wife is the designer. Which I, go, I thought he said Goldie Hawn, which I know that's somebody different. <laughs> but I think it's Goldie Hawn. <laughs> Newsflash! Shah Rukh Khan marries Goldie Hawn. She changes her last name to Khan, which makes her Goldie Khan. Um, so, yeah, Salman, wow. I think... To what go- does that have to do with Salman by? Those are... Uh, oh, he's sh- with SRK's kids. And I think that's... Got her, it. And I think that's her. I think that's her. I think that's. I've only seen her once. Yeah. In my life, to my recollection, it was the Letterman interview of SRK when he took them home and had yes, dinner with them. Is. So that's SRK's wife. Got it. Gory. Gory Khan. Gory Khan. Which I knew that was I name. thought was Goli Khan. God. Uh, and I was like, I did not know they that were married. Sense. That's weird. I thought she was married to Kurt Russell. Yeah. Not anymore. Oh wow. It's a shame. Yeah, it is a shame. Uh, but yeah, so he took a picture. That was a big thing on the internet. Um, cool. Um, uh, that is uh, the sexy Shah Rukh. He looks great there, by the way. He does. I love the deep V. I wish the shirt was a little more see-through so we could get some salami in there. What's going on with the pants? It looks like there's a pretty cool... What? They look black, Rick. What are you talking about? Ooh, the stripes on the jacket! Yeah, see? That's nice. Oh, that's a great look. That's a great look. That's a good. That's a good-looking look there, sir. He's gorgeous. Very He's nice. Absolutely gorgeous. So sorry, my wife can't be here to Talking see that. Talking Desi down another level. Sonam, Sonam Kapoor, Kapoor arrives in contemporary. Say that. Anakali suit. Anakali suit. Anna, that's beautiful. Very Indian that regal, right very there. Very regal, and that is a perfectly fitted top around her. That's gorgeous. So one thing I. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. that's beautiful. So they're obviously elevating Indian. Um, and it's obviously as you should if you're at the Indian Cultural Center, right? Classy, uh, classy. But one thing I, I would love to see more of is like what SS Rajamouli and Junior Tiara and Ramtaran did at the Oscars, mm-hmm. right? They brought classiness, but also they weaved Western the history. and Indian into one, and they were some of the best looking people at the Oscars, especially male. I bet if we got some behind the scenes vids <laughs> that we got with them. We mm-hmm. would find some of that interweaving more subtly than we even know. Ooh, whoa. There we go. Who is this? Capage. Miss. Say that? Mrs. Vaccine, as they call businesswoman Natasha Punawala. Um, I'm guessing businesswoman Natasha Punawala was involved with oh, creating Oh, she was the one that the... was with Karen Johar. She, I remember. Got it, the purse. Yeah. But is she called... My my only guess would be Mrs. Vaccine is a businesswoman who invested in and helped develop the COVID vaccine yeah, in probably. India. Her... Yeah, look at that. All the Beautiful embroidery. Detail. But then obviously with Pranka and Nick, looks great. That's a heck of a cape there. Wow. Ranveer was probably very jealous. Yep. Be- oh, to see it from the back. Look how wow. look how gorgeous the back of like the actual yeah. center is. Yeah. Oh wow. Ashwari looks Beautiful. amazing. Um who's this? Sumer Carly Clues? Supermodel. I don't know who you are. You look yeah. nice. That's a nice one. American supermodel Gigi Hadid. Gigi Hadid. Obviously, she uh, made her appearance. That's a different thing than she was wearing. I don't. 
I huh. remember her wearing that when they picked her up. Neither do I. Another American. Emma Chamberlain. Cha- or Chamber Lane. Yeah, that's Chamberlain. Wow. Looks uh, like a scaly... Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan. She looks like a, li- okay. like a lizard. I like it. Hey! Shahid! Shahid. Mira Kapoor. Shahid Kapoor. It looks uh, shimmery. It does. Looks great. Yeah. I like it. Her, hers is very elegant. Creedy. Creedy. Ooh. That's a cool Ooh. red. Ooh. She went a different route than everybody else. Sure did. And that, I like the red purse. This is something that would be worn Are on those a... those suede boots? On a Hollywood uh, red the carpet. the leg spread. It's looking strong. Yeah, she didn't go the... Uh, at least hey, there's a cape for sure. So yeah. obviously, I if if you guys know what the uh, the theme was, I'm yeah, assuming I'm, it's cape. I'm betting there was an encouragement to cape yourself. But this is a very something you like any Hollywood actress would wear on a on a red yeah, carpet, for sure, fashion red carpet or something. Very nice. It looks great. Um, very pretty. It was truly a glam event, much like Indian Met Gala. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, was that it? Oh, uh, I guess it's the end. Uh, uh, oh, we didn't talk about Zendaya. And, and do I, they have a... I want to talk about Zendaya. Cause oh, yeah, because she had... She I looks remember seeing great. it. Right. It was beautiful. I love that. Sorry. And then Gigi too. Hadjit. This is the one I saw of Gigi. That's what we saw her in and loved it. Um, I wish... I And I understand why he wouldn't because it's for it's just for white people. Um, it's a... You know you're going to be trashed by other white people that don't understand why he didn't wear more Indian garb. Yeah, especially if you're British. Yeah. Um, I still would have loved it, like if he uh, a touch. Yeah, but I understand it. It's because I I sent this to my film club group because I was like Zendaya wearing it because I thought she looked great. I was like, so is this cultural appropriation or does she look fire? And they said, well, that depends on if you ask white people. <laughs> if you ask white people, it's cultural appropriation. If you ask the actual culture it's coming from, especially it's the Indian, a- especially the Indian culture. Yeah, they love sharing and yes. uh, appre- Obviously, there's a fine line of. Of of if you aren't doing it for if you're like like when people go to um, music concerts and they wear Native American headdresses, right? That is appropriation, right? Because you are not uh, appreciating their culture. You're using it and almost mocking at times of of stuff like that. But if you go into like Mexican culture, if you go to Indian culture, Chinese culture, a lot of them will encourage you to absolutely. Um, it always goes back to the why. Yeah. It always goes back to the why. For example, when they wanted to see us dress in Indian clothing, yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't because they were they, they loved seeing that. And I've never been accused once yeah. of my tattoo being an Indian cultural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they know the heart behind why why that's it's always the why. And I think it's very I think it was uh I mean, I don't know what kind of a connection he may or may not have with India. Yeah. But my suspicion is he wanted to err on the side of respect. And not be misinterpreted. I saw one interview. He, he's like, I don't. There's not a. I don't know a lot about Indian fashion, okay, then Indian good for culture, him. I, Indian I, like that. I love him. He's a. I've never met him. All I've ever heard about Tom Holland is yeah, he, he seems is, like a sweetheart. He is a sweetheart of a guy. Um. So. Um. Yeah. Everybody looked really classy. Yeah. And do they have designers? So, for example, we not we don't just have on the red carpet the looks and they're talked about, but it's not what are you wearing? It's who are you wearing? Yes. So, well, I would assume it's the same in India. Yeah, a lot of them said they were wearing this person's I, I was very famous so. designers yeah. in India. And I I'm assuming there's going to be Indian designers, not just the standard yeah. international. They're still ones. there. Yeah, but I would assume. There's famous Indian designers that yeah. do saris and do kurtas. I'm, re- and, and I'm really other. glad Hugh Grant wasn't there because he would have been a real drag. Did you see him on the red carpet at the Oscars? Mm. You didn't. Mm. He was a dick. Was he? He was a dick. He was an asshole to uh, I forgot forgot her name, um, but she was doing her her best to be genuine and kind and ask him some questions and he just was he was a dick. Really? Yeah, you should see it. It's a, oh. it's a short clip of Hugh Grant. He's very Oscar. British, but it wasn't British dry humor. It was uh, he for whatever reason he didn't want to be there. He didn't like her. He didn't want to answer questions that he thought were stupid that were not stupid. They were basic to, for example. When she said, so who are you wearing? He said, well, I don't know. It's a suit. He was an asshole. <laughs> you should see it. I do love a good asshole. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was great. Uh, oh, this is a... What else we got? A fun little game I wanted to play with you. Ready? Strip poker? Yes, exactly. Perfect. 
So I've have seen this little clip on, on on TikTok before, not with Indian stuff at all, but it's a fun little game. It's I'm going to give you five things. I need you to rank them without knowing what's coming next. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think I do. So you, so get, you rank them I'm, on a scale of one to five. One, one to five. Being the best, five being so the worst. Let's say I gave you uh, Indian food or something like that, and right. I said dosa. You have to put it in a place right now. Got it. Irrespective of what me becoming next. Yes. So if I selected that as my number one, I'm stuck. Duck. Okay. So it's a stupid game, but it's fun. All right. Uh, <laughs> and so like, because you could like, be like, oh, I'm going to do strategically. And then it ends up failing. Got uh, it. But okay. So oh, we could do a couple of these, but I thought it'd be a lot of fun. Rank these Hindi actors. Okay. Hindi. Oh. Without knowing who's coming Who's coming next. next. That's not fair. I know, but it's fun. That's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, we can we can give it a shot, and so you can uh, uh, let me know what you think. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So the first Hindi actor I'm going to give you is Shahid Kapoor. Planet Safe three. Ooh. Okay. Give you three, right? Yep. That's that's so he's in the number three slot. Number three slot. Ranveer Singh. Damn. I, based on this, and based on the film Header, mm. I have to, I have to, today, on this day, put Renvir at four. So Shahid Kapoor three. Shahid gets, gets a slight edge because of Header. They're, so they're, they're right four. there for me, really. They really are, as far as their skill is. I think they're both very, very good actors. But okay. yeah, I have to put Renvir at four. Okay. Um... Saif Ali Khan. Based on what I've seen, he would be of those, uh, he'd be at five. Okay. Based on what I've seen. So you have... It would Shahid be Shahid, Kapoor. Ranveer, Saif. Okay. Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. Where are you going to place them? Was there a six? <laughs> 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 okay, I will. I'm going all the way over to the memories I have of him in his best thespianatic performances. Okay, I have no other choice but to put him at. You're gonna say somebody. This is not fair. Go ahead, <laughs> because now you're gonna where say you somebody. Him? You didn't tell me where you put him. Where else can I put him? One number or two. two. You're gonna put him at two. I can't put him at number one. Okay. There's too many other people I would put at number one ahead of him. <sighs> No, it could be really mean to you. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to be really mean. But I'm not. Because I have no choice. It has to go into the but slot. But I'm not. I, I, I had five so, picked out before. and uh, this, uh, I had So give me, give me no. Taboo. Give me Irfan. No, this is all male. Give me Rodica. Uh, okay, is, it's all male. all male. Give me, give me Nasir. Give me... I, was, I had Irfan. Great. So He would have been my number one anyway. I, I had picked five so I could be fair. Already before this. Okay. Um, well, that's good to know that you weren't just I was improvising. Hoping, I was hoping you were going to put another one at top, and then the earphone was going to be there like was five. no way. <laughs> as much as I like those guys, thespianatically, so there would be there'd be four or five male actors that would vie for my number one slot, mm -hmm. and without question, earphones. Okay. At the top, but now, so your your list is Shah Rukh Khan. No, no, no. Irfan, sorry. Irfan, Irfan Shah Rukh Khan, Khan, Shahid, Shahid Kapoor, Kapoor Ranveer Singh, and Saif. and Saif Ali Khan. Not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not terrible, actually. Okay, okay so should I give you the ladies? You can, yeah, sure. All right, why not? I'll yeah, give I you the ladies, the and ladies. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select them right here and now so that you know I'm not just screwing with you. I'm just going to pick three, okay? Okay. Okay. Rank one through five. Hindi actors. Hindi? These are... Let me make sure. Are they all Hindi? Yeah, no, these are all Hindi. Okay. Topsy Panu. <whistles> okay. A three. Okay, nice okay. safe choice for Topsy. Kajol. I love Kajol. But if the, Do you love her more than Topsy Panu? Hold on, is this favorites or is this? Is these this, are your favorites, just you, like you did with me. This is, list them in you ranking listed that as, you. You know, you listed it as, as, as acting, did you not? This is acting, yeah, the best actors. But favorite or best? Different. So I, you, I did them. I ranked them as, in my opinion, artistically most excellent, most elevated excellent. artists. Okay. Thespians. All right. Thank you. Thespians. If that's I was how going we're doing for, it. Not my personal favorites. The okay. ones that I felt were the best thespians. If they're doing it that way, yeah, then she would be a five. 
you would put Kajol at five. Five if we're doing it that way. If it's favored, she would be higher. Okay. Nope. I love Kajol. Got it. Taboo. One. That's easy. Alia. Two. Don't you do it. You know she was going to be on the list. Yeah, I know. So you should have known and foreseen that I was, of course, Am going to, to include put- Radhika Opte. Oh, fuck. But you've put Radhika at number four. You claim to love her. <laughs> and you've put her behind Topsy Panu, Ali Abat. Oh, my word. And Tabu. I've just... Ugh. Wow. Wow. She's never going to come on and have yeah, an interview now. so sad. My goodness. I feel icky. I feel <laughs> icky. Uh, but uh, I want to do it again. Yeah. But... Uh, <laughs> Sex positions. Yes. Great. Rank these Shah Rukh Khan movies without knowing what's coming next. Okay, great. Ready? This is easy. Shish. This F-R-K. is easy, kids. Easy. Throw it my way. DDLJ. Where are you putting DDLJ? Uh, these are my favorites. favorites. Not favorites. what I think are artistically the best. My favorites. Yes. Okay. Based on what I think you're going to be telling me and the films that are my favorites of his, I, I, I've just got to be safe because there's a couple more that would be my personal favorites. Mm-hmm. I'm going to comfortably, mm. safely. Ugh, but what do I leave the door open to that way if I do that? Mm. The one I would watch over and over and over again. Man, because I would watch DDLJ over and over and over yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, Two. Ooh, that's high. That's high. That's high. I, I had to do that. That's high. Kuch uh, kuch hota hai. Four. Okay. DDLJ two. Kuch kuch hota hai. Four. Swadesh. I really would, while Swadesh is, in my opinion, artistically superior to DDLJ, mm-hmm. not, I, I would far more often watch ddlj than i would swadesh because swadesh hits you in the feels pretty hard there and it's uh so i would put swadesh at number three whoa now i've only got a one out of five left ddlj ddlj is two swadesh swadesh is three kuch kuch hot high is four (laughs) dawn two (laughs) (laughs) damn that's not what i thought you were gonna say (laughs) because damn I got to put it at five. Okay. Although, had I known that first, <laughs> that would have been much higher than That's my five. That's all the game is. Oh. Damn it! What are you gonna say now, you piece of crap? <laughs> I've been waiting for the one that you know I'm waiting for. K3G. You bastard. <laughs> Rick's favorite is K3G. Why was my name is Khan <laughs> not in the category? K3G. You know how I feel about that movie. DDLJ. And you didn't you didn't even swadesh after K3G and DDLJ. Oh man. That's that's a hot take there, Rick. That is a hot take. <laughs> that's <just> terrible. <laughs> okay. Should I do Rithic for you? Do we have enough Rithic films? Yeah, we got enough Rithic films. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Um, there's more I could have chosen, but here we go. You ready? Okay. Gersnatch. Five. I'm going to do them fast. War. Four. Super 30. Three. <laughs> Deborah. One. Joda Akbar. <laughs> <laughs> you like Deborah more than Joda Akbar. You're a doof. If I would have just went where I was going, it would have worked out perfectly. It would have worked out great. That would have worked out great. Um, yeah. so, <laughs> that's a lot of fun. Um, I like that. This is, a, this is another stupid, little stupid. stupid game. Now, I need you to guess the top five. Top five. Indian films of all time. The top five. Grossing. Box office? Box office. World, Indian? Worldwide Indian. box office. Indian. Yes. Indian. Indian? All industries. But worldwide collection. Okay. So. I have the top five here. This is not his opinion. This is just Hindi only. So obviously Bahubali and uh, uh, K, K, KGF are not included. Not even their wait Hindi. Minute, wait not minute, not even their Hindi dubbed ones. So this is this is just Hindi. Hindi films. Oh, I th- that's why I was saying India, India, Indian film is what I was saying. But yes, it, Hindi. Yes, I understand what so you're saying. So just Hindi just language. Hindi language film. Because because there's, there's a couple different. that are taken out of the running here. But yes. Okay. But I thought that would be easier because you know Bahubali, you know KGF. RRR. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think that's in the top five. Really? Yeah, I don't think it is. 
Wow. I could be wrong. Okay. But anyways, this is just Hindi. Top five. Guess the top five Hindi films. Do I have to guess them in order or just, guess, no, just get guess. any of the top five? I will tell you what position they are so okay. you can know. Reverse Cowgirl? Was that one of the positions? Yes. Great. Top five Hindi. DDLJ. No. How? It's, it's been in theaters for 30 freaking years. I'm sorry. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> um, didn't Patan get in there? Yeah, it's yeah, two. I thought Patan so. Patan is two. Yeah. Okay, so Patan oh, is in there. DDLJ was Also, there. if this list is wrong, I'm looking on the IMDb Hindi. Brahmastra. Brahmastra? No. Oh, it didn't make the top five yet? Mm-mm. Oh, I thought it did better than that. It's 12. It's not even in the top 10? No, nope, it's 12 right now. Wow. There's an actor that uh, has a lot in the top five. I am thought it was the same actor in DDLJ. Nope. That's not that actor? Mm-hmm. There's another actor besides SRK that are in the top five biggest grossing Hindi films of all time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go to... Did Lagan do great box office? It might have, but it's not on the list. Three Idiots? No. Wow. Okay. Let's go all the way back to... Um, the oldest one is 2014. Well, that took that out. Of the <clears throat> wow, this is surprising already. The oldest one is 2014. Yeah, for the highest grossing. Wow. Wow. War. Nope. Okay. Because I, I, this is so... They didn't even adjust it for inflation prior to 2014 to see the top five. Amir Khan. 2014? PK. PK is number five. Okay. Stars. No. Is there another Amir Khan in there? There's two more. Wow. 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 I'm genuinely stumped. Okay. So I'm going... uh, uh, Dilda Hagnado. No. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Padmavat. Mm-mm. No. Bajira Mastani. Amir Khan has two more in the top five. That we've seen. We've seen every film in the top five. Holy crap. Shows you how much I pay attention to box office. Yeah. Anyways. so no, Tell me, because no, I'm going to be sitting Number here four is Secret Superstar. Really? Yep. Uh, number three is Salman Bai with Baji Bajan, the little Pakistani The Pakistani girl. Yeah. I would have never guessed that number one. Number one, Amir Khan again, Dango. Is the highest... Dango is the biggest box office success of all time in the Hindi language. It is. It did massive numbers in China. I would have never guessed that. It did massive in numbers years. in China. Massive numbers. I would have never guessed that in a million years. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, right? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I knew Dongo was number one. I've heard you that. knew that. Yeah, I've heard it many times. That, like, yeah. See, I paid no attention to the box yeah. office success. I, people just said it in the past, and I'm like, oh wow, that's crazy. Dongo. Unless it's a movie that, for example, you know, for the price of admission for the first half of Patan for me was yes, go see it, have a great time, oh, enjoy, enjoy that. Wow. Dongle. Yeah. I just played, I was just doing Name That Tune with Indrani the other day, and the, the Dongle theme was the yeah. one I played for her. Number six is Sultan, so another, sh- uh, another, sh- another Salmon. Salmon. Uh, Sanju, uh, Ren Beer. Oh, yeah. And then Tiger Lives, so it's just Salmon. Okay. Badmavad is nine. Doom three Doom three. is uh, ten. War is eleven. Oh, I knew war would be close. Honda Honda Han is 13. No way. Three Idiots is 14. Chennai Express, 15. Simba, 16. Kabir Singh, 17. Diwali, 18. Uh, Prem Ratha, Samsam Khan, and then Baji Rao is 20. Wow. Honda Honda Han. Yeah. So basically, I think if it does well in the United States or China, yeah. it really elevates it. Well, obviously. Yeah. I mean, when a film gets created here and they're doing distribution, there's always discussion about whether or not China's accepted it because that's such a huge population. Yeah. Um, it just depends on what they want to cut well, out. Well, and the questions of do you want to cut what they're asking you to cut. Yeah. And normally a lot of people don't. No. Thankfully. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's crazy, right? I would have I would have bet money and lost about Dungle being the number one. 
Let's see if you can do the top five highest grossing total Indian films. Okay. Hold on. Once again, I'm going to use IMDb, so if the information is wrong, it's IMDb. This is all industries. All industries. Uh, okay. Bahubali. Bahubali. Uh, one, no. Bahubali isn't even in the top five. The first part is not. Bahubali 2. Yes. Okay. Bahubali 2 is number two. Okay. The rest. Dongle still passed, but Bahubali 2? Dongle, Dongle is number one. Wow. Like I said, if that... if, if Dongle was bigger than Bahubali 2? That's what IMDb says. So. Wow. Okay. D- uh, KGF. KGF 2. 2 is number four. Yeah. And KGF. And KGF's not on the top five. Really? Yeah. Now, this may seem very strange, but I heard things about it. Is Pushpa in there? Mm-mm. No. Vikram? No. You're missing one that you said in the other list. Brahmastra? No. That I did a PK? Mm-mm. So it got knocked out of all-time Indian films? Mm-hmm. But you're missing what was number two on the list. From the Hindi film industry? Patan. Patan is number five. Okay. And so you're missing number three. Which you said, but I didn't think it was in the top. I had said it this round or the previous? Previous round. Three Idiots. Mm-mm. No, it's not oh. Hindi. It's not Hindi. I think I, miss, I misspoke and said it. I don't think it's in the top five, but it actually is. And I've said it. Yeah, you said KGF. it. KGF. No. Pushpa. No. Bahubali. Not R-R. the R. Yes. Okay. RRR is three. Okay. So you got, uh, it was Dongle, Bahubali 2, RRR, KGF 2, and Patan. Uh, and once again, this is according to IMDb, if that, if this is an incorrect thing. Yeah. You, I don't, I don't know. But yeah. That's, uh, uh, Wild. That's crazy, right? Dongle blows my mind. Th- yeah. The fact, Dongle made, uh, ni- Dongle's the biggest Indian film of all time. 1924.7 crores. That's crazy. 1,924.7 That's really wild. Seven crores. Right. I don't know what that is. No, I but don't it either. sounds like a lot. A lot of money. Um, but yeah, it's crazy, right? You know, what else is crazy is the power of SRK to have a film that's only been out for a couple of months and is now considered one of the biggest box office successes in Indian cinema history. Yeah. That's just it's astonishing. Gonna, it's going to be crazy to see how the other ones do mm-hmm. with, because it will be a it's a South Indian director. Yeah. And it has South Indian actors. Right. And Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah. Coming off of Patan. Yeah. It's, so it's going to be really interesting how. And then the re- return of um, the director of Three, uh, Three Idiots and, and all those other ones. Um, in the one he coming out in Christmas time. I would love to see. It's going to be interesting to see. Maybe he gets two more. Yeah. And I'd love to see numbers comparing things that are not only adjusted for inflation, but that are adjusted for. Everything else that it needs to be, and see what films like Cholet did, yeah. Lagan, um, some of the the more the more classic films that we know were massive successes when they first came out, yeah. and how they would fare comparatively because they do it all the time where you adjust for inflation. Um, wow, I'm still I would have I'm gonna I'm looking forward when I get home I'm gonna ask Andrani if she knows, and uh, she may ver- she may go, oh of course it's Dongle, yeah it's uh... that's wild. I mean, it's a great movie. I love Dongle, but I would have, I would never guess that that is not only in the list, but a top of the list. Dongle. Yeah. That's a good movie. In terms of... I would exp- and I'm surprised Three Idiots isn't in there. Uh, an idea- it's such a well-known film. I asked a patron um, some ideas for, for um, podcast ideas mm. and, and topics or stuff like that. Some people thought we should rewatch a film we saw in the very beginning to see if our opinions have changed. That's a good idea. Uh, which I, I like that idea. Um, or if like we have friends who aren't Indian and they've never seen an Indian film, maybe they can come on. Maybe it could be one of those films. That would be a good one. Like Three Idiots. I haven't sure. seen it since we watched it. How uh, I know a couple of people who would do that. Valerie would do that. Rich would do that. But has Valerie watched an Indian film yet? I don't know. Well, at least she hasn't watched a lot. She'd do it. Rich would do it. Scott would do it. Yeah, that'd be that'd be an interesting series. Yeah. To and then we could talk about other stuff as well. Yeah. But so they can see an Indian film and and see their opinions on it. Yeah. And we could revisit and see what if our opinions have changed because I don't think it, I don't think we're not going to like the films at all that we originally liked. I think we'll no. just 
probably have more grace for the nitpicks that we had. Yeah, I bet there's probably some films. I mean, I did that with Barfy and and Ren Beer's performance. I remember why I did not like his performance when I first saw Barfy. Rewatched it uh, a while later and thought, you know what? I wasn't fair to him. I don't know why I had that particular judgment in my mind. And I'm glad I rewatched it. I bet idiot. there, I bet there would be some films I go back and watch, and I'd be a little bit more accepting of it. Um, so the like the one we just watched. No, I would. No one. Uh, yeah, no one killed Jessica. If we had seen that early, I would have. Oh just, yeah. Remember how early, early, early on, first impressions of Bahubali. Yeah. Were oh goodness, the CGI is crap. I don't want to watch this. Yeah. You got to understand the context and yeah, what was going on in the industry at the time. Understanding the style of yeah. acting. Absolutely. And, yeah, it's and, a huge one. Um, the yeah, style that, of storytelling. That that would be an interesting one to look back on because we we had such a strong not great opinion of it but mm -hmm. now we know who Rajamuli is we know his style be very forgiving um, of the cgi also to rewatch the um i call it rajasthanalism with ram charan oh yeah we did not like that movie like very it. much no um but give it a second give i it think a second chance. i think a lot of times we give a lot more grace to actors that we'd like yeah always I, it's natural it's natural um I mean, Tom Hanks got a big pass in, in Elvis, right? <laughs> he sure did. Uh, which other, if they, that was a random actor, probably wouldn't have gotten the grace. No. <laughs> not that, but people, I will, not I, that people have said that it's a great performance. No, but, but I will say there aren't even the actors who have really disappointed me in the past and have yet to prove to me that I think that they're really good actors. I'm never rooting for someone to do poorly. There, no. there isn't an actor that I so dislike but, that I want all of their films to be terrible. That this, this, there's no give, one out there like you that. You give more grace to people you like. Of course. Uh, it's just kind of... Uh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, they're human. It says minority opinion. Pick an iconic movie that you didn't like, uh, mm -hmm. like Chalk Day, and bring in a guest. Uh, oh, that's what... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. I like that uh, idea. I put out a tweet asking people to send in questions beforehand yeah. and answer them. Yeah, I, I don't really want this to be like a and a kind of thing that's not really what this is for no that would be more of a, of, of a live about. um that we would do that in um anything under the sun keep this slot open so you can choose a different topic indian culture uh, cinema and it helps if we're talking about things that we have some understanding about yeah. that which is example why a legal case that's really important and that's going on we don't understand no the law system in no india enough to, we to take have, all of it with a grain of salt and just sit like kids in class and go, okay. Which is one of the reasons I would love to have guests, especially Indian guests. Yeah. Well, even if they're just some stupid babies that live in Los Angeles or, or stuff, that they can, like, if they, like, like a movie that we did not like, and they can give us their perspective on it. You know what would be different. fun? I was just thinking, we could do, because we haven't done a meet and greet in L.A., hmm. but we could do... For example, like when we've gotten a place to do the million or the 500,000 video where we have five stupid babies who are here that have never met us before and we come and we just do a round table session where they can ask us anything they want to ask us hmm. and we podcast it that way and we can ask them whatever we want to ask them. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, I think you discuss a movie, it would be controversial. And then if more people show things. up, we could just do it in front of a, a live group because not everyone would be able to ask a question. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. Uh, evolution of Indian cinema, different stuff like that. Yeah. Um, one movie you can talk about stuff you watched that week. Um, like I watched Seven this past week and uh, Minority Report. Yeah, and the reverse as well. If there's stuff that you would like, because for years, always gotten messages from people saying, especially when I was putting videos on my personal YouTube channel. Huh. People would comment and message me about that and say, thank you for doing this. I want to learn more about America and what life is like for Americans and your culture. There's so many America. things that I don't know about your culture. And we just assume you do because you guys, Indians, way, know way more about America than we Americans just know about India. fast food all the time. So uh, that'd, be a, that'd be a cool thing as well. Anything you want us to share with you about what here. And especially, we'll do a full-blown tour of Corbin's house. No. Every nook and cranny, including the drawers. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to do that. Well, we won't show the bestiality. I mean, um, that, that'll stay private. Yeah, I won't be doing that, but we could do other things. Uh, <laughs> um, there's, because 
I don't know if you've ever seen on, on Jubilee's YouTube channel. I've done a few videos with them. They have something called Spectrum. I don't know if you've ever seen that. I don't think I've seen that. I know the Jubilee channel, obviously. Yeah. Um, it's basically... Um, Mental health is a good subject, uh, universally. Yeah. Um, Sex? I'm not kidding when I say that. So basically... Um, oh, there I am. So Spectrum is something Jubilee does? Yeah. Uh, white people. Yeah, you're in the uh, thumbnail. <laughs> but so basically they, what they do, oh, you, no, you saw it because we did a reaction to it. Black people in India. Yeah, where they go into the lines. Lines. Same format. That's, I think it's the same channel. Oh, okay. Um, but they, that's just a different, that's a lot more elaborate than the one I did. Um, so like, ask a question. Um, and then you say you agree or disagree. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Like if people asked us now, and I've, I've thought about doing this with, with stupid babies of like, if you, you get stupid babies that are Indian film aficionados or, or if you get like five Shah Rukh Khan fans and they ask Shah Rukh Khan related questions yeah. and they tell, do they agree? Do they disagree? Yeah. Do you, uh, stuff How like that. How passionate they get. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 that's a different I like podcast. But, yeah. Uh, I always thought it'd be uh, a lot of fun. Or if they asked us, it's like, have you ever faked that you've liked of something? Cause you know, we get those questions all the time. I know. And the answer yeah. to that Obviously, is no. no. I don't know why I would fake if I we will we won't fake things, but we will just we will lie. We will we <laughs> will withhold info on things we have a passionate detestation for that we may say to each other. We may express the fullness of our hatred for something privately, mm. but because we know what we're talking about, you don't do that publicly because then people miss the criticism and all they hear is the vitriol. Mm. So we, w there are times where. I have really, really disliked something, and I'll just say I didn't like it. Because why harp on the negative so hard? But that's that's the only thing that is not just full blown, honest, out in your face. We never fake a reaction. We've never been paid for a reaction. That's BS or a review. Never will be. Interesting. Sorry, there's a little thing. Uh, D Deadline Hollywood just released this. Uh, prior to the global debut of uh, Spy Series Citadel, mm. Frank Chopra Jonas is getting into business with Amazon Studios again, this time with John Cena and Idris Elba movie, Heads of State. Awesome. Apparently. That's awesome. You heard about the deal that Amazon just did with India, the country itself. No way would they do. Yeah, it was just in Variety today, and I won't be able to say it verbatim the way that it's done, but what it basically says is Amazon has committed themselves to even more connectivity with Indian culture and creating Indian content and making sure that that Indian content is shared with the world. Mm. So there weren't, they didn't name the specific projects, but it was just Amazon partnering with, it's it, the person who's the head, for example, here in the United States, if we have the, which we're not funding the arts the way we used to, but if there was, you know, a part of the arts in the United States government, it would be like having a, a country come and say, we're going to partner with you. We're going to do more creative stuff that we want to do to share with the world. Amazon's done that. So it doesn't surprise me that Priyanka has Citadel with them and is now doing a film with them. I'm sure she's going to do a lot more with them. So. Yeah. Well, that was a podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts. If you likes, fell asleep, sorry. Dislikes, what we should do next, guests we should have on. Obviously, I don't have like a Subjects. black book and stuff like that. But I would love to do these. Obviously. Are you in L.A.? Yeah, let us know uh, your opinions about it down below. I don't, 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 I